We, the BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT, are one of the SOFIA founding members. This was an initiative prompted by government around 15 years ago to put together a standard skills and competency framework uh, for the IT industry. And we've actually taken it a little step further by creating the SOFIA Plus framework, which gives a little bit of extra granularity to the current SOFIA model. And I'd like to take you through some of that uh, today. So the SOFIA framework, as you can see, has categories and subcategories, uh, bringing you to skills within the IT industry. Now the framework is designed to recognize pretty much every skill that exists in the IT industry. As you can see from the top, it covers such things like strategy and architecture. It even moves uh, further down the framework into such areas like client interface, supplier relationship management, even sales and marketing as IT starts to touch uh, all corners of the world these days. Uh, across the top, you can see levels ranging from one to seven. So they're uh, for different levels of autonomy, influence, complexity, and business skills. And again, all this content you will find within the Sophia framework. The Sophia Plus content really comes alive when we start to uh, associate a particular skill with a particular level. So for example, if we looked at project management, and if we dipped into project management here, you will find a, typically in the Sophia free standard, you will find a paragraph describing project management. And now if you actually look in the Sophia Plus content, we actually have six extra workable tabs under here. So we have the background tab, uh, which gives you an idea of what type of previous experience and education somebody might have to be in project management at this level. Then we would look at work activities, and this again lists the type of work activities somebody would be competent at doing in this skill at this level. And as we go through, another great tab here is the knowledge and skills tab, which gives you an idea of the type of behavioral skills as well as the technical knowledge and skills. And we also notice in this section that there's a knowledge depth column that comes alive when it's associated with any technical skill. And throughout the Sophia Plus framework, you will find that this starts at uh, aware of, moves through to familiar, proficient, and even expert in terms of a knowledge depth. The next three tabs are around the, the training and development aspects. So we have the training activities. These are fairly generic, but they give you a good idea of what type of training activities you would consider to be fully rounded in this particular skill at this level. Then we have PDAs, standing for Professional Development Activities. These uh, professional development activities are very popular right now. They have such things like job swapping, mentoring, coaching, real experience gaining exercises that can really make you a fully rounded IT professional. And then the final tab is the Qualifications tab, which is a list of industry recognized best practice certifications and qualifications, again, for this skill, all at this level and you get this level of granularity and detail for every skill at every level, ranging from your entry levels into IT at level one, right through to a position in position of eminence at, uh, say, a level seven. So we at BCS are working with uh, a whole host of organizations ranging from SMEs to large multinationals to really utilize this Sophia Plus content and this framework to do such things like standardize the skills and competencies across the business, job roles, skills profiles, through to skills and capability assessments so you can really understand your resource, as well as really using it for its prime purpose to really drive uh, professional development and raise those professional standards in the IT industry across the board. And if you'd like to know more, then please give us a call.